So about two weeks ago, I joined a bravery tourney. But I was wondering what bravery is? Watch my first bravery tournament video. But for those who are too lazy, here's a quick summary. The participants can choose a character and a weapon type. Fishy will then randomize the items and the transitions we get. We are allowed to reroll up to two times. Pathing, augments and skill order is free for us to choose. What do you get when you take an already RNG heavy game and add even more RNG on top of it? Real life. Think about it. You hope to have good RNG and not be born in a third world country to be able to succeed. This makes the reroll function the belief in reincarnation. Game ending yourselves in hopes of getting better RNG. But what you didn't expect is that it can always get worse. Surely you can spawn with a lack of food and water. But what if you game end yourself and spawn as a French person? Think about it. I actually didn't even want to play in the tournament. My original plan was to do a scuffed English stream of the bravery tournament. But then I got DM'd one day before the tournament by Fishy and Hawky that they still needed players to fill. And I agreed, to which Fishy asked me for my 5 chars. Like the girl you matched with on Tinder last night, I told him whatever and then left him on red and went to sleep. He gave me 3 belts of chars that I play and wanted me to give him 2 more chars. But I was very busy with important things. I woke up 20 minutes before the tourney, which was exactly enough time to create a route for all my builds on Aya.gg. Not sponsored, please sponsor me. And was pleasantly surprised. I expected to get horrible builds and random chars, but they were actually decent. The first game was a microwave bar build. It has zero amp, but a good amount of attack power. The only problem is that Barbara has no good AP scalings and her e true damage got changed into skill damage. But hey, at least I got a good weapon upgrade. The game started out with me getting a free meteor after which I ran into a Felix. Lucy is me actually running in into Smart Dragon but actually looking to fight. That's a good amount of burst damage on the first hit. Just further going in Smart Dragon now turning around with the turret. Actually does a good amount of damage. This little... Mm. It's fine. I just get my revenge later. And with later, I meant I immediately turned around after healing to for life. I didn't find him, but I found a Luke instead. Don't worry, I also thought I would die there. But how do we call it in EU? Skill issue. Then I tried to contest Alpha, saw Elena, and decided to call in a tree of life to build a monkey king bed, which I wanted to use to contest Wick, but ran into a whole squad of enemies. He's trying to third party the situation with Aimer against Smug Dragon. Smug Dragon misses the bad skill. Aimer jumping in has to go out. Smug Dragon gets chased down by Metal Yim, who pops the R. The damage is not quite enough, and the Pendulum Axe hits! Smug Dragon, will he make it out? Arka's actually completely ignoring the others to try and chase down Smug, but Smug actually makes it out with his Pendulum Axe play. Right on top of the Daniel that is exiting his ultimate. Again. To go back into chapel. But Smug's actually waiting on the other side. He probably knows, yes, he's facing he's facing some champs. He's supposed to trap probably another Pendulum Axe as well. No, he's actually just going in. But Aimer is back to full HP again. And Smug Dragon just isn't dealing that much damage with this sloppy auto hit Barb. And it's actually not enough. So he will fall to Amel. Yeah, turns out that my build was not good enough to beat Kathy. Sixth place and one kill with my worst build is perfectly fine. Game 2 I used Shuriken Hedgin. In theory, Shuriken Hedgin is the strongest character in the game. But in practice I got a full crit build. My best bet was to red until I get a force card to build the overtuned Sundarazana. So with that in mind, I took literally every fight I could, completely forgetting my plan, and hey, it actually worked out and got me a kill. I want to fight now, but is it gonna be enough? Because this Luke needs so much damage. Smug Dragon is now here. He wants to third party this. He hits the Q, hits the W, but it's not quite enough, and at the same time he's getting hit by this Luke, and they're just gonna team on him. Maybe he's not dead yet, and now they're turning on Smug Dragon. Smug Dragon, it's so close, and... <laughs> Against both of them with the pressure washer. No way. 
Yeah, let's just say I was limit testing and didn't overestimate my damage. Game 3, I picked my crossbow Nadine build. And like in classic ER fashion, somebody dodged. Nadine is THE best character in Bravery due to her passive being independent of items. I actually told Fishy to ban Nadine from the tournament when he asked me to go over the rules, but he said nah. And I didn't care since I didn't want to compete anyway. This crossbow build is cracked. I get two attack speed items, crit and attack power. The only bad equipments are the arm piece and the crossbow. And fortunately for me, I could just build auto arms and have an almost meta build. I immediately threw all of that away when I had a peak ER right click fight. Epic. Epic. Oh, and I also skill issued a Dylan with a sick slide step that was 100% planned. Smack Dragon though is completely uncontested at this week and just takes her. He gets with quite nice items with his chunk power and some good AP and attack speed, so his woodkill is actually pretty neat. And together with the wolf salt and some good stacks on him, he takes her down really, really fast. Now, has the V of Blood is probably waiting here in case someone else comes close, but there is no one. So I'll pick up, which he does now. And Smug is also here with the Wick buff and incredible items, the Myth Armor and the Chinese Opera Mask. So it's going to be really scary here. To see, looks to just take this item from self. I'm not, actually not quite sure if he ordered it. I think he did, the Fosca. Actually, I don't think he did, because he doesn't need a Fosca anymore. Deals so much damage with this Wolf Assault, and I don't think the R from a million is gonna save him. Nope. The knockback is not gonna create enough distance to get away from Smug Dragon. Who is gonna finish the kill? Fishy was completely right. I didn't order the Fosca, and I can do nothing with it. After that, I start checked Aniki and got into the top 3. Topic of the day. Emotional gaming. Emotional gaming is the act of focusing a certain player because you don't like them or their character, leading to doing brain dead plays in hopes of getting that player killed. You would think that Elena would focus the Piolo that has no cooldowns and a diamond shard that is running out. But if you were to emotional game, you would focus the Nadine that still has her ult active, 20 seconds more timer and crossbow skills still ready. Also shout out to the bug fixing team for Elena still being able to skate towards me while being stunned. I expect a new Sua skin next Friday. Anyway. I time a skin Elena like she deserves and let Fishy handle the rest. Timer to run away until Arkas eventually dies to timer. Now my Dragon has our back in, throws his monkey wire over the wall, to have a back up a road. Now Momo turns around, does a lot of damage, hits the E, but she dies shortly after the parry as he doesn't get the last hit in that would have been enough and Smart Dragon takes this third game with 6 kills. Game 3 done, 2 more to go. After bantering in the lobby chat for a bit, I chose my Amp Barbara Bolt. Finally I can do some damage. It has some clear weaknesses, but I can fix them somewhat by the transitions. Trust me, I can fix her! I kill a Rosie and pick up a free meteor after doing a sick outplay. I built some actually useful shoes and then went to contest another Meteor. You have to make it out. Smart Dragon against Salt Thief. Salt Thief already had two kills, but Smart Dragon is actually looking really imposing with this damage over time, and if he can, yeah, he creates some space in between him and the Aiden, and lets the Ws do the damage, and poke with the, with the Hex, and gets himself the second kill. For Smack Dragon, who was, actually, who was already in the top 3, looking really strong once again. After that, I built my magic stick, got a Mithril from a bear, got another Mithril from a bear, and was looking really strong. And Smack Dragon, who is now going to start the wick, as no one is they actually fighting each other, but Aimer knows. He's turning around, he doesn't want to give this wick away. Is he gonna be in time? He will not. And the wick buff does go to Smack Dragon, but the items won't. The items go to Aimer. Rest up. I want to get some hits onto Alamo. Actually, it takes a lot of damage. And Aimer and Alamo still has a, has a suture up. 
has to use it into thin air as Aimer goes in with the EMP barrage, but he, Alamon just walks into Smug Dragon. I think that Smug Dragon will be able to finish this. Yes, he will. Which means the third kill to this weak buff Barbara. Smug Dragon still applying the pressure. Runs down BB with his E, and just the weak buff is dealing so much damage. And the D skill connects, and this is gonna be yet another kill. The fourth kill for Smug Dragon, who already had a, a super nice game 3. Looks to jump in onto JP1, but it's just the same thing again. He fights someone who gets low and is now going to chase down by Smug Dragon. And I'm pretty sure the Smug Dragon will be able to do this. Yes, he will. He empowers his Q with his R and gets yet another kill that Aimer got low for him. And Aimer is not gonna be happy with this. And Smug Dragon actually came back from below and is looking to lurk and third party this. And they don't know. They don't know he's in the bush. They really don't know. And now he's here. He has a turret. Aimer explodes to timer. But the kill goes to my big sword. And now it's just a final 1v1. Smart Dragon has already used. No, he hasn't used it, sorry. He just uses it for the RW. And this is looking grim. My big sword only has 12 seconds uh, left. She can't make it to the other zone. She has to go back into it. And with the bad skill, I don't think she has. Yeah. She doesn't have enough time to get the kill on Smart Dragon anymore. Who will secure a second full game with, uh, for himself. As well as 6. Full kills on his neck. And he's looking super strong, looking to take this whole tournament for himself. Another W in the bag. Now you might be wondering how many points I have. And don't worry, I also didn't know how many I had at that point, and honestly, I didn't care. After a quick remake, I selected my final build a pretty decent Bonadine build, with which I should easily get a few kills and win. Little did I know. Elena was not the only paid actor in this tournament. I shit you not, this Echion chased me from 1 minute 40 day 2 all the way to 55 seconds night 2. He chased me for 3 minutes straight. Thank you Nimble Neuron for nerfing Nadine E so people like this Echion can chase for 3 minutes with no hopes of me getting away. I expect another real skin by next Tuesday. By the way, this Echon later died to Rosie. The same Rosie that won the lobby. Echon tried, but he couldn't stop me. Because I won the tournament. And do you know what that means? Last time I ascended to Bravery Heaven. And now I became the Bravery God. Now what did I win? NP. How much? I don't know. Like I said, my plan was to comment on it. So I waited and after a few days I got this message. I want 2k NP. Event NP. Kill me.